You liar! So here I am underneath the car, you know, fighting these headers, trying to get the starter out. Oh, why am I trying to, no, you, not important, right? Don't, don't even ask about that. But with the starter out, I could finally see the uh, casting numbers on the engine block because it's directly above the starter. And uh, what was that? No, don't ask. I, you don't even need to know why I'm doing any of that, all right? Just not, not the video. Any hoozle. So I, I could see the casting numbers and well, here they are. There she is right there. C9OE60156. C. Yeah, I know the, the 6 looks like an 8. Trust me, I already went through all that. Okay. So naturally, I, I look up the numbers, right? To see what in the world this thing is. You know, what year block is it? You know, numbers matching? Nope, I didn't have a slight chance and hope of that happening. Because this used to be a drag car for somebody, and they had a nice motor in it. Took that out before they sold it and put this in. So, well, you know, the C stands for 60s, okay? The 9 stands for the year, so it's a 69 block. The 6015, that's just generic. You know, they just stamp that on a lot of these. And uh, I think the C in the back is some lot number or something. I have no idea, right? But, uh, yeah, so it's a 69 block. But then I got to thinking, didn't they, uh, didn't they stop making the 289 in 68? So, of course, I do a little bit of Googling, right? I try to figure it it, nothing's happening back there. Uh, that's not the new starter I have to put in because the old one's fried or anything. And I thought to myself, well, the only thing this wire goes to is the starter. So possibly the starter might have a dead short in it. I mean, the starter looks to be about as old as the car. So, you know, it, I believed that it could be the problem. But naturally, I, uh, you know, I start looking up info, and the best I can tell, they stopped producing the 289 in the beginning of 68 and switched it to the 302 in the end of 68. I have been living a lie for over two decades. I could have swore this was a 289 with 302 heads, but this is actually a 302 with 302 heads. I still don't actually believe it because I've been saying 289 for literally two, 20 years. Wow. Huh. Well, this kind of changes things. I'm not going to go back and retitle all my videos to th say 302. That's just too much. I, you know, just from here on out, I'll, I'll start calling it a 302, I guess. God, I still can't believe it's a 302. <laughs> you know, I've been saying this thing's a mystery motor. And the mystery just keeps getting more and more bizarre every time I look at it. I don't even know what cubic inch this thing is anymore. It could be a 306, because I thought it was 30 over, so... <laughs> it, it, it might be a 306. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to call the fucking mystery crew to try to figure this shit out. Like, looks like we got a mystery on our hands, too. Well, that's it for now, and uh, catch you next time. Okay.
you know, headers really suck when you're trying to do anything. I should just take the headers off, but I'm not going to.